like to start with a quote from a Nobel Prize winning New York Times writer, um, economist Paul Krugman from his latest book. Yes, there is an interlock interlocking set of institutions ultimately answering to a small group of people that collectively reward loyalists and punish dissenters. These institutions provide obedient politicians with the resources to win elections, safe havens in the event of defeat, and lucrative career opportunities after they leave office. They guarantee favorable news coverage to politicians who follow the party line while harassing and undermining um, opponents. And they support a large standing army of intellectuals and activists. The answer to the question also uh, should deal with factors ranging from individual inventors shooting themselves in the foot or by, by their foolish actions or becoming embittered by the way that they're treated and they end up dying with their secrets kept to themselves and not shared. All, all the way down the line or up the line to the academic world where uh, there are also in a way vested interests. Um, you wouldn't think that that uh, there would be anything but purity of, uh, of seeking for knowledge in, in the academic world, but there's actually a little bit of um, a fear of change because a sector like hot fusion physicists have gotten millions of dollars in grants every year, and um, it's threatening to consider that perhaps some new energy science might be coming out of out of nowhere is resistant to change in the government because there are tax revenues that come from gasoline taxes and drilling leases and that's a, a huge amount of revenue which could be uh, supplanted by um, governments having a lot more money to spend when they don't fight oil wars and a lot more money to spend when the health care costs are not so high because children in inner cities aren't uh, suffering asthma because of the polluting uh, fuel exhaust. So there's a, um, just, a, just a whole range of reasons why uh, these new energy technologies haven't, haven't come out. And uh, there's all sorts of tricks that are used to cause the inventors to stumble, to cause their b businesses to fail. Uh, in, in ways that they never recover from. And uh, we can go into these different areas of, of this question in, in another video, which will come later.